Letitia Wright faced backlash for sharing an anti-vax video and deleted all of her social media accounts, so let's talk about that. From our at-home setup, it's Andy telling you everything you've got to know about your social media news. And let's talk about this alarming video that's crossing a lot of people's timelines, especially mine. Let's just dive into this one. On Thursday, Black Panther actress Letitia Wright shared a video on her Twitter account from the YouTube channel On The Table. The video questioned the COVID-19 vaccine if it was safe. On top of that, the host in the video was skeptical of climate change, accused China of spreading COVID-19, and included transphobic comments. Additionally, at one point in the video, he said he knew nothing about vaccines and the medical technicalities that went into them. Lucifer rays produced by Massachusetts Institute of Technology will help the country keep a tab on those who have been vaccinated. Fact checkers came back and concluded this was true. This is what they said. Actually, yeah, we can't doubt her on that one. We are uh, producing this, um, this dye called Lucifer Race. Lucifer Race! <laughs> oh my God. And many people were like really confused about Wright using her platform to promote this. Also, the COVID vaccine is fine. Let's talk about why it's fine, but like you shouldn't be questioning how long and what effective resources we have for this vaccine. We've been in this pandemic for a year. There should be a vaccine. One user said that Tisha Wright wasn't skeptical about a vaccine. She went full extremist nut and posted a video full of anti-climate change, transphobia, and anti-vaxxer BS. Then had the nerve to laugh about it on her timeline and talk about the popular opinion. Girl, get the F out. Don Shadle, another Marvel actor, responded to Letitia's post and said, Jesus, just scrolled through. Hot garbage. Every time I stopped and listened, he and everything he said sounded crazy and effed up. I would never defend anybody posting this, but I won't throw her away over it. The rest I'll take off Twitter. I have no idea. After the backlash, she tweeted, quote, If you don't confirm to popular opinions, but ask questions and think for yourself, you get canceled. Many people online called for her to be recast for her upcoming role in Black Panther 2, and she actually liked most of those tweets, which was really confusing. Someone replied to one of her posts saying, asking questions and promoting conspiracy YouTube videos about anti-vax are not the same thing. One is valid, the other is spreading dangerous information that literally harms people. And because of everybody giving their response as they should, she ended up changing her tone, the narrative about the entire topic. She said, my intention was not to hurt anyone. My only intention of posting the video was it raised concerns with what the vaccine contains and what we are putting in our bodies, nothing else. Okay, but like if your concern was the vaccine, what you're putting in your bodies, first of all, do some research. People in the podcast had no idea about the entire technologies that went to behind developing a vaccine, the 400,000 most likely people who were tested for this vaccine and the entire groups and money that went into this. Money plus more money equals a faster timeline. So don't be kind of scared if this vaccine is rolling out in a faster pace that you expected a vaccine that could be two to five years. Money does a lot. But getting back to everything, the video in question actually, it has been taken down from YouTube as it violated the terms of service. Letitia has deactivated both her Instagram and Twitter accounts following all the controversy, which seems like a PR move. But one user online shed light on the skepticism Letitia had about vaccines. She said, I'm not going to be mad at any black people who have a fear of this vaccine and what this government can maliciously do to our bodies, based on what they have done before especially. I get it, but let's be responsible with how we share information and opinions versus facts. Other users shared a similar sentiment, saying that there's been a lot of history of medical racism against the black community. Most notably, the Tuskegee syphilis study, where hundreds of African American men were given syphilis unknowingly and suffered major health problems or death. Now obviously that's an important study to bring up, especially within the black community, especially with in the vaccinations we have going on with the world at the moment. So when you talk about anything with vaccines, it's just really important to also break down where you're getting that information from, what medical group are you getting that from, how often has this been tested on groups, what was the funding that went into this, so on and so forth. Obviously do your research before you get a vaccine, before you even also step into any podcast, any video, know the topic before you speak about it. And don't kind of go back on the topic, especially now that you've deleted a lot of your social accounts or private them at least, but let us know what you think in the comments down below. Obviously, was this the best thing to say to retract the statement and mean things in a better, lighter tone about vaccinations and history? 
Go figure. Up to you. But for more social news daily, head to whatstring.com. Follow me, Amy Lawani. We'll see you real soon.